Don't get burned by lava on the way in. Ouch. Hello, it's Icy. I'm back with another furnishing farming video. Uh, as a lot of people appreciated the previous one, uh, I went to do some research about where is good to farm in Vardenfell. So this is the Morrowind expansion. Now this information's probably been out for hmm, a year. It's not something I took advantage of the first time around. So I am in Alderaan, uh, just off the Alderaan Way Shrine, across the lava. Now, uh, to make this easy, I suggest you do the quest in Alderaan first. Once you've done that, all of the mobs in here will be neutral to you. So it's much faster. Um, and then it's just a matter of opening all of the jars. And there are lots of them. Uh, there are actually lots of different tombs when you're in Vardenfell. Um, and many of them have jars and you can open all of them. Now, the chance of getting furnishing patterns is considerably less. Uh, I don't think the jars have the same sort of a loot table as a wardrobe, for example. So there is actually a lower chance. Basically, it includes things like bones and ashes and all sorts of other bits and pieces. So the chances of dropping furnishings are lower. But they do indeed drop. So this is the fourth round I think I've done since moving two characters in here. So this is the second round on the second character. I've picked up one green Vardenfell pattern, a handful, a very small handful of other patterns. Um, like maybe like two or three. I picked up no other colors. Uh, the green Vardenfell pattern I picked up I already knew. So that's fine. So this is going to take me a lot longer, but as you can see, lots and lots and lots of urns to open up. No mobs that will attack you once you've done the quest, so it could be useful for lower level characters. Uh, the quest itself is not that hard. It takes a little while, it's mildly tedious. Um, so yeah, if you have picked up enough stuff from the uh, wardrobe room in the Traitor's Vault in Arteum in the Somerset expansion, you might consider moving a few of your tunes down here. The disadvantage is it's not particularly, I mean, it's close enough to a way shrine, I guess. Uh, you're not going to be able to fast travel to somebody here if you need to jump out and do crafting. Uh, because nobody's really farming this regularly anymore. I think it's unlikely you'll find something in a guild slot. The chances of the drops, as you can see, are much, much lower. Like, I don't think I've actually found any furnishing patterns at all right now. If you have the time, it is probably worthwhile doing this and the Trader's Vault. Uh, but, Obviously, Somerset doesn't give you a chance of Vardenfell pattern. And while I, personally, have got a lot of uh, Eleanor patterns, I don't have hardly any Vardenfell ones. Okay, so yeah, out of those, all of those containers, I picked up one Wood Elf green pattern. That's it. So you can see that the drop rate is considerably less. But one of the few places that I can pick up purple or actually any button bell patterns at all. So, uh, I hope you found that useful. Do you have any other places that you farm furnishing materials? Uh, there's one other. I have done a preview video on it previously a long time ago. I might do an updated video because why not? Um, so look for that in a little while. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have not, Please do follow me on Twitch. Uh, details are below. I stream Elder Scrolls Online content there four days a week. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.